I just got a call from the ghost excavating. Yeah. And he said uh, he just hit the gas pipe. And oh my yeah. God! This is not even. Cars everywhere. Oh my God! I don't even know where to park. Chris, this is a nightmare. Greetings from my parents' house. This week was a very eventful week. <laughs> in order to transition into full-time RV living, we decided to go all in and sell our house. And this week was closing a week, and it's one that we'll never, ever, ever, ever forget. forget. <laughs> Morgan and I own our own small business, and so we're keeping up with that, and Jonah's online school didn't leave us of much spare time. So we literally had to move out the remainder of our stuff, get everything completely ready for closing, in two days. Off to pick up the U-Haul truck. <sighs> Maybe that'll be good practice for driving that. There it is. She's a beaut. Hopefully I'll learn something from my dad, because he used to drive big, massive semi trucks in England. Stuck in the snow. Don't even know how I managed it, but I'm stuck. I took a corner and I think the front pattern is that wheel stuck. I've got a chain and everything, I just gotta see where I can hook on. When Chris got back, I was totally shocked. I cannot even believe that we were not done at that point because we'd been getting rid of stuff forever. My parents thought it might be nice to have some of our furniture at their house for some of their spare bedrooms in the basement. And so I thought that that was going to be about it with a few odds and ends. I'm sweating at this point because I know how much we have to do. <laughs> still. Like, still, there's a lot to do at that point. I'm like, I don't think we're gonna make it. One day to go. It was day two of uh, clearing out the house. and <laughs> We have to have the house ready by 6 p.m. tonight. It's like 7.30 right now. We still have to move out. And I just made a trail here. We're having a heck of a time with the swing set and the slide. The slide's frozen to the ground. We can't get it. <laughs> yeah, it's getting The night before closing, literally the night before we closed it, the very next day at noon, Chris came back and he was not done yet. And to top it all off, it was my dad's birthday and we had planned a little birthday celebration for him, which was canceled because he helped move and was exhausted. So a nightmare. And so I thought, hey, we're closing tomorrow at noon, so we should probably go back. But that did not happen. Yeah. <laughs> I passed out. I was exhausted. I was so tired. <laughs> I just passed out. <laughs> it's 5 a.m. and uh, it's closing day. So I'm here at the house just finishing up what I didn't get done last night. <laughs> I think this is my third time to drop off trash. <laughs> For 
once we had a little bit of time to spare. I still don't even know why. And we were so excited because we were both gonna shower and get ready for closing. We had about two hours by the time that you got back to pick me up to go to closing. And then I got a phone call. I got done cleaning the house getting it all ready and then I get a call from the excavator saying it needs to get into the basement so I'm flying back to the house it's 11 25 and we close on the dig a little bit all one house oh <laughs> you have coffee seats on your shirt oh say hi now we <laughs> I have coffee seats Chris got coffee stains where? And his flies unzipped. Man, you're looking like a million bucks. When you have been working on the house night and day for the past three days. I'm always walking around with fly on the <laughs> But you know you grabbed my chambre mask, right? Like, that's it. <laughs> you're a hot mess. What a weird time, right? It is weird. Yeah. How exciting for you. Okay, sounds good. Um, I mean, I, I imagine as soon as I'm done here, I can come over. So, um, I've already signed documents, so I think it'll be soon. I've got to say, so I checked out a bit of your YouTube. Awesome. Oh, you're so awesome. nice. Love it. <laughs> and I was like, tell me about this RV. Like, what's, what do you guys do? Before we do that, I'll tell you something real quick. Okay, yes. We'd love your so, opinion. Um, this is. <laughs> I just got a call from the guy's ex today. Yeah. He said, uh, he just hit the gas light. And,. I know, that's and exactly why. He said it's okay, he said consumers are coming out to fix it. Okay. But they need, they will need to get into the house. Okay. And so, how does that work? Because we <laughs> like, yeah. can I take a key and let them in or do So we sold the house. Uh, and he was like the nicest oh guy. Oh my god, this is Oh my god, it looks like somebody got murdered at our house right now. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. This murdered. isn't even. There's everywhere. Oh my god. I don't even know where to park. Chris, this is a nightmare. This is really bad, isn't it? I'm gonna have to, uh. What the heck? I'm just sticking here for a second. Oh my dear lord. This is a nightmare. So, this is a total nightmare. Wow. You're all right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Morgan checking it out. Can you believe this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love him. We did it. I have no idea because of how it went down, how we did it, and because we were completely delirious and exhausted. I'm, I'm, we're zombies, but somehow we close on our house and we can shift our focus now to full-time RV living and we are so pumped and we're so excited to share with you next week a super important update. So thank you so much for being part of our journey. Cheers.